Good afternoon guys, it's Monday afternoon and we're going to be um, building a PC that we are, right shall we continue? I'm going to see if I can um, boil this or something to make it less jerky right I might steal the power supply out of the other one yet. But, uh, let's start getting cables unplugged. Like so. <clears throat> because I'm literally going to need pretty much everything out of this. Yes, so I'll even need the little fan on the back. <clears throat> right. Plug all the stuff from the front panel. I'm going to take the fan off the back now. Just so it's out of the way. Saw a few bloody cables out, I think. Right. So glad I magnetized this screwdriver before I started. Two. I hope the screws are going to fit the standoffs. In the other case. If not, I'm going to have to go and get, whoa, go and get my uh, part screws. I think I magnetised this a bit too much. It just got stuck to the side of the um, audio jacks. laptops as well. I'll uh, <clears throat> either show them in this video or show them in the next video. And the IO plate as well. <clears throat> the uh, PSU is next. Oh, PSU is only held in with two screws. Why did I do that? Oh well. <clears throat> Just have to change that when I uh, fit it to the next case. Get out of there. Okay. Just put that down here for the time being. <clears throat> lost inside panels if I'm not careful. I need a CD drive. I need everything out of this actually. Well I don't. I've got CD drives in the cupboard but it's just as easy to take them out of this one. <clears throat> and the hard drive. Like I said, I was actually toying with that idea of taking the hard drive out of the other 
machine, depending on what size this one is. I can't remember. I think one was only an 80 gig and I think one was 120. And if I'm going to be building a decent sized sort of rig to sell and I'm going to want a decent hard drive. <coughs> bloody warm up here. It's comfortable outside, there's a bit of a breeze but it is comfortable. Oh, I'm bloody warm up here. Look at this, that's what I said in the other video, look. It's got the SATA connectors there and the SATA power connector there but it's got Molex power as well. Never seen one like that. It's even got a warning on there to use either one or the other. Right, so... Oh! 164.7 gigabytes, so that is the biggest drive. I've never seen a hard drive like that with both power connectors on. Who makes it? Made by Hitachi, a uh, Hitachi Desk Star. And, oh, fudge. Where's my wire cutters? I've just got to snip this cable tie. There we go. There, we're done. <laughs> now, all I've got to do. Just going to move this one out of the way. Oh, this case has gotten a hell of a lot lighter now. Bring my drink over. Um, oh, I just found out a screwdriver I was looking for. Doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Right. Gently, it's my magnifying glass. I don't think I'll need that. Right. This is the one I like using for these tasks. I've got to change the power supply just because it's got the wrong power connectors on it. Is this one still magnetised? No, it's not actually. Not very well, anyway. Go and run my mag this is why I keep hard drive magnets. You just run them along the the um, shaft of your screwdriver and that'll magnetize them. That's what I went and done with this one before I started. Just don't put the magnets right up to your hard drive. I've done that one before accidentally. Surefire way to kill a hard drive. That's a good power supply though. Sure I can find another use for that. Here we go, the new one. Such a big go are we in. We're in. Hmm. hmm. A friend of mine that bought a PC up as well, you know, and he wanted to either uh, ca um, you know, take cash for it or uh, do a trade. And I'm actually thinking, I 
I've trading the case I was going to build my new rig into for this one because I prefer this one. Right, there we go, pardon me. There we go. A bit cardboard in here. That's the cat. <laughs> that was the cat. That was. Oh, yeah, I've got to. Oh, I'll take this um, CD drive out in a minute. Let's worry about getting the motherboard in, shall we? The heart of a PC. I call it the heart of the PC because everything plugs into it. This is why I find the motherboard's too big. No, it does fit. Panic ye not, it does fit. Here we go. It's quite a snug fit in here though. It's quite a snug fit, but it fits. These are the screws that I want. These are the screws I've got to hope fit. Yes. So I've actually found that the threads on the standoffs and whatnot can be slightly different. I've got a couple of spare standoffs on here as well now. Right. They can stay in there. It's a bit too fiddly to get them out of there now, so... And another one. They're not in the way there either. I think I've got one, two more. Power indicator LED. Will they have a power indicator LED on the inside? I don't know. Unless it's for um, servicing. So the person servicing it knows if the uh, power is still on or not. There we go. We're screwed in. Right. I was going to put the RAM in next, but I'm going to hold off on that. Um. I will get these bloody things plugged in because they can be annoying. Are we all labelled? We are all labelled. Where's the header? Nope, that's to con. I can't bloody see. I'm pretty certain that's the head of them. Oh, we've got two fan connectors on this board. I could put a fan in the front, but I don't think that's necessary. What have we got here? What the? Audio? No, those are USBs. Hang on a ticket. I need a reference. <laughs> exact same layout but they're very similar so I can use it as a reference. Right. These are USBs. Get those connected on. I can never remember which way around the um, red and the black wires go. Yeah, power and negative. That's what I was checking on the other one. Seriously, <laughs> they've decided to put all the audio cables separately as well. You wankers. <laughs> um.
The colours don't even match on this one, do they? It's all labelled, but I don't think it's actually labelled on the board. All I can make out is power. And they don't friggin' reach anyway. Oh well. We'll have those on then, will we? Two different boards, identical connectors. So that's power LED goes there. I don't know if I'm going to have the wires around the right way till I turn it on. There's one way I find out. Put that in the wrong place. Now. <laughs> goes that way. Green to the frame. White to the frame. next on the list. Right below that Where's my magnifier? This is getting a bit... Right, I've got it. I've got it. Power switch on that one. What goes next to the power switch? I can't remember. I will just dazzled myself with the LEDs. for a battery it seems. Yep. So this might be a long video, by the way. Right, now I get the 
pop a disk drive out because no one's going to be using that. That's old school tech, yo. Don't ask for a friggin' idea where that came from. Nope. in and the hard drive in before I put the memory in and the cables where's that gone? Whip. that screw has just completely vanished found it <laughs> I think I found another one as well when I did that no, I found a piece of plastic instead. Right. Right, yeah. I thought so. If I actually used my brain, I would have did this last night before I went to bed. So it was all prepped for this morning, but I was a bit too tired, so I just went to bed. IDE drive. Covered a bit. Right. Slide that in. And the card reader. I know it's something that's not used, but well, probably not used as much as they used to be, but I'd rather see that in the front here than a gaping hole or a floppy disk drive. fixed in. Unscrew this side, make sure that's all lined up. Get screws in this side first and then I can uh, side panel put back on. Trying to remember what screws go to what. I think that was one. Oh. this side I think just to stop it twisting The audio will reach. Get the side panel back on. Ah, 
That's not on properly, is it? I actually find the easiest way to do these side panels is to lay them flat. Like that. Where are they? Is that one? Nope. That's not the side cap. There it is. Another one on here. If not, yep. I'm say if not, it doesn't matter. I've got a pot full. I can do the others later. There we go. I'm going to do this up this way. Okay. The problem is, I don't know. What wires go where? I need a diagram, that's what I need. I'll worry about the audio later. I'm going to have to lay it down. I didn't want to, I want to keep it upright, but I can't see. Sling that up there. I think I can actually start getting some cables plugged in in a minute. Reader. It's got to go on a USB header. Anywhere. And said header. Are we on? We're wrong. Right. So yeah, it's just uh, the audio here to sort. I'm sure if I Google it, I can. Because all of these are labelled. It's just. It's not labelled on the motherboard, but. I'm sure if I actually Google PC audio connections, I'm sure there's a diagram or something out there on the World Wide Web that'll help. But like I said, I can do that later. That's not that important right now. What is, is getting both of these paired up. So. Give total of four gigs of RAM. I'm putting it in now because otherwise I've got to try and get the power cable or get these under the power cable. I don't fancy that to be honest. Right. 12 volt supply in there. In there, thank you. Board power in there. Oh, there it is. That's SATA power. Go up there. something half decent with some cable management here. I've got some cable ties, haven't I? I've got them in here somewhere. I've got a whole bag of them. A little bit better than using tape, wouldn't it? They're a bit large, but I ain't worried about that. But I don't know, I need to I need to somehow just ravel these up. Something like that. I'll just stick up here. We won't need that hanging off there, do we? There we go. from two of these cables
and the audio of course. Um, oh, I don't suppose it really matters which one's which, does it? Let's go under there. Actually. go and get a short one of these because I don't need one this bloody long. Not in here because I've only got to go a short distance. Yeah, I'm going to see if I've got a shorter one. Right. I think I've got a short one in here. <laughs> I think that one. Yeah, that one's going to be a tad too short. Oh, here we go. It'd be great if I had another red one. I've got a black one. I know it was a waste of rubber bands doing that, but I don't care. Ah. A red one. Right here. Right. Transplant complete, I think. Uh, no, it's not. I haven't put the case fan back on. Whoops. <clears throat> Up we go. Let's get this on. These screws missing. No, I haven't. It's just up the wrong way, that's all. I'm put it up on my head just for a couple of seconds. So I can get that screw started. Plug that on. Okay. Now what I need to do is just clear this and uh this lot. Oh I've got some other various connectors in here as well. I just thought I'd put a shorter one in there. One, it'll look tidier, and two, I keep the long ones for cases where I need the long ones. Otherwise, it'll be a bit like, I need a long one now, and I haven't got any, because I used them all when I didn't need to. <laughs> right, so I'm going to shut you down while I uh, get the monitor and everything that's set up in here. Why have I got all these screws left over? Weird. Oh. <laughs> you know what I haven't done, don't you? I haven't put the screws in this side <laughs> of all of this stuff. Let's quickly do that then. Whoopsie. Think go and do is I wonder why I had so many screws left oh, screws left over. Uh, whack this one in just to hold that there. One more. Oops. There we go. 
Right. So I will return very shortly. Okay. We're done. It's good. It's working. I've uh, also installed AVG Antivirus, which has also installed Google Chrome, which was good because I was actually going to install that anyway. Not Firefox though. But um, it has got Google Chrome installed. So it's ready for our internet use. Not to remember how I did it. No, what am I doing? I'm going to totally the wrong thing, dipstick. Um, take the disc out now. Oh, and I have found um, a little diagram so I know which wire to put where for that front audio, so I'll do that. Um, before I start taking the photos and whatnot. Here we go, Windows is activated, 4 gigabytes of RAM, AMD dual core 260, blah blah blah. blah. Right, I don't want to shut that down just yet, do I? So, I hope you liked the video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.